Hello everybody, it's me Laura again and today I'm going to be doing a soft-spoken rambling and eating video for you So, recently I went to London for a few days and it was the first time I'd ever been so it was quite an experience for me I had a lot of fun there and it was really enjoyable and whilst I was there I went to a shop called Cyber Candy and they had a lot of Asian and American foods I think they had sweets and candy from other countries but um, they were the ones that took my interest personally and today I'm gonna be trying them on camera with you and hopefully make some relaxing sounds with them if any of you remember I have done a similar video to this I think I did it in the summer of last year and that was purely um, American foods I think so um, this one is gonna be from uh, lots of different countries I have no idea what they taste like and um, I'm gonna give them a go with you now I firstly want to apologize for any background noise you may hear um, that humming pipe sound is back um, hopefully I should be retiring soon and uh, there may be some uh, disturbance uh, like conversations in the background but hopefully that should be it so I'm gonna begin So, the first thing that I bought was Yan Yan's. Can you see? And these looked very yummy. So I got a box of them. I have tried um, confectionery items from this company before. Meiji? Meiji? I'm sorry for any um, poor pronunciation. They did um, all kinds of sweets there. They had a whole section for taffy. But uh, it was none of the flavours that I tried before, although I probably should have got one piece of each. I know they have an online store, so I might have another look. It was suggested from my last eating video that I try different flavours of taffy. And I went ahead and tried the popcorn, bubblegum, there was another flavour, but I don't remember it. It was really good though. Thank you for suggesting it, if you did. If you'd like to see what I got in London, or footage of London, let me know and I'll try and do a uh, sort of like a voiceover video of the footage that I can that was a train, I'm sorry um, of the footage that I can because um, some footage you're not allowed to show just due to um, certain places policies okay, so that's the first thing Edible that I got, and I'll give that a go in a minute. The next thing that I got, I got two packets of these. I got high chew. Um, I wanted to try this for a while. This is the green apple flavor. I've tried pucho 
and that's very yummy. So, I hope this is just as nice. If there's any um, more candy you think I should try, let me know, and I'll try to get them and taste them in a video for you. you number one and I have hi chew packet number two this is the strawberry flavor Next thing that I got looked really interesting. Um, it's sticky not only from the plastic wrapping, but um, <laughs> I spilled a, a can of Coke all over what I bought, so uh, that's why it's particularly sticky. But anyway, this is um, boat and rice candy with a free children's sticker inside. Hopefully I get away with it. So that should be nice to make some crinkling sounds with too. Okay. Another thing I got which I won't be trying because it's a gift, so I'd show it anyway, um, is chocolates, Milk chocolate for life's boo-boos. And uh, there's someone that I know that I think would really like this, so I'll be gifting it to them. actually quite expensive. This one was about £4.60. Okay, so there's that. And I think the last thing that I got, if I can find more things, I will show you. But there's also, I guess it got soaked by the coke, um, it's this like little penguin gum. If you can translate that for me, that would be great. I thought that was really cute. He kept calling to me in the shop. This little cute penguin. the wrapper's just completely falling apart. But we shall give that a go and see what that tastes like. It's got a little monkey on the inside. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to try are yan yans and they are cracker bread biscuits with a strawberry cream dip and apparently this is a product of Singapore
I'm going to try these. I'm quite excited to try them. If I can get them open, of course. Okay. That was pretty silent. really cool. So the biscuits have um, little sayings and drawings on them. So this one has a cute little stag beetle and it says stag beetle. Love it. We'll have a look at um, more of them as we go along. But for now, I'm gonna try the dip. Okay, so the dip is not Super creamy. Um, it's got a quite thick, obviously, um, substance to it. I'll give it a go. Goodbye, stack beetle. So the biscuit is nice and crumbly, and the um, dip is very easily dissolved into the tongue and the taste buds. Um, of course, it does have that very artificial strawberry taste to it, but it's, it's just a nice strawberry dip with biscuits. Very similar to something we have in the UK. I can't remember what it's called, but we have chocolate and little biscuits, but they don't have fun little drawings on them, unfortunately. See, so, yeah, it's very yummy. Um, I can see kids really enjoying these. This is testing my pronunciation now, isn't it? So the next biscuit has a chicken on it. And it says next to it, Ko, ko, ke, ko, ko, ke, o, ko, ko, ke, o, ko. I think I got that in there, ko, ke, o, Please do correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, it's very tempting to just sit here and eat all of them. So I think we'll try one more and then we'll move on. Okay. So this one is mole in a hole. That makes some sounds. With the biscuit. Some strange sound in the background. Not too sure what it is. Oh, 
hope it doesn't disturb. a plane now. Okay. So, on to the mall stick. From what I can see, there's a lot of pictures of ducks and squirrels in there too. the onions, which I will very quickly finish off later. So the next thing I'm going to try is the green apple haiju. Which I imagine would be something quite similar to frutellas, maybe. Or maybe Starburst. Okay. At least the wrapper's easy to pull off. So there's the sweet. Doesn't really have any colour to it. No real tint or juice. Just a little sweet. Okay. there in the end. So, um, whilst they do come across quite plain and simple, they do taste exactly like a nice fresh apple. However, um, if you have frutellas sold to you cheaper than these, you're not really missing out, because I think frutellas and these taste very similar. another one, because I think they make some nice sounds.
so yeah, they're very yummy. But nothing too particularly special in my eyes. I'm gonna try one more for you. I'm not even overemphasizing how long it takes to eat them. Just, just how long it takes. Okay, so I'm gonna try the strawberry high chew in a minute. But for now, I'm gonna try the Bolton rice candy. A little bit nervous because I've tried nothing like this before. and get this open as delicately as possible sort of this is apparently a product of Japan Now I've tried rice based puddings before, like mochi, and they were yummy. So, whilst I'm a little nervous, I'm quite excited at the same time. I don't know if this is sad or not, but I'm quite intrigued as to what sticker I'm going to get. Okay. Each candy. Oh, okay. Each candy has an edible inner wrapper that melts in your mouth. Okay. I'm nervous. Sweet. And then the wrapper. That's the thing. Did anyone used to do that as a kid? Or well, now still. Um, I used to, if I couldn't get the wrappers open of my sweets, I just eat them. I kind of preferred eating them with the wrapper as well.
Okay, so I think most people know the taste of artificial orange, but that is quite different. It doesn't taste like artificial orange, it tastes like fresh orange. Like almost the skin of the orange. You know, when you eat a little bit by accident. It tastes like that in a more edible, uh, less formidable form. Um, it's kind of nice. Um, you know, I'm expecting a pretty strong artificial taste like um, most sweets, but uh, yeah, that was okay. Now I'm gonna eat a wrapper. Okay, so that does melt in the mouth. Um, not particularly easy to swallow, personally, for me. Um, it's really interesting though. I'm gonna get the sticker because that's uh, what we care about. Wow. Okay, this is cool. Why I think this is cool, I don't know. Happy tomato wearing heels. Of course. And I will put this on my cupboard or my laptop. And every time I see it, I will think of the time that I tried rice candy sweets for the first time. We have a lot of trains today for some reason. That was the rice candy. And the last thing I'm going to try today, before I divulge them all and brush my teeth, is the strawberry hide you. reading the back. It has carrot extract. Okay. So I'm just gonna open this now. 
believe these cost me one pound something. trying the penguin gum after this. I'm sorry I said that this was the last product we were going to try. I forgot. Okay, so, basically, if you live in a country where Rutellas are distributed, to me they taste exactly the same as each other. Um, it's still fairly yummy, and I'll continue to eat them later. However, to me, they are just like Rutellas. So the next thing we're going to finish off with today is some gum chewing with a little penguin gum. I've wanted to try this ever since I bought it. Okay. See, this looks like rice paper, but I'm not sure. So we'll leave this for now. It's got a little skeleton man, I think, with an umbrella. So, it has a very fresh smell to it, and it reminds me of ice, which I guess is like why it's with a penguin. So I'm going to try this out. like gum than I thought. It's extremely juicy and very appetizing. If you've tried soda sweets, with the little fizzes in them. Tastes like that. It's very yummy. It's very, very, very flavoursome. I was expecting mint, you know, from it being like icy and cool. But no. Which is good because I don't like mint flavoured things.
almost never do gum chewing videos, so... This is a good opportunity to do so. Silly, um, trivial but useless fact. I can't blow bubbles. in my eating video for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna finish off with some gum chewing. But before this fades out, you. I hope you take care. And I will see you very soon.